Atlas contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. You've been warned. Welcome back! Macabre Mandy here, and we're gonna continue with the next episode of Outlast. This is the binge, so I'm wearing the same clothes in every single video, assuming I get it done in, like, one day, like I intend to. Should be five hours, so that should be doable. Alright, we're going down to the drain. In the last one, in the last video, uh, we learned that we had to follow a trail of blood. Okay, okay, so there's like some demonic rituals or something, I assume. Sweet, I have to hide soon. Okay. Can I have more batteries? That'd be nice. Closing doors behind you will slow your pursuers. Great, great! Something is definitely happening now. Our pursuers are probably over here somewhere. Just shut up! Let me think for a minute! Quiet! Uh, uh, quiet! Uh, uh. Sounded sexual. Actually, they did say it would be sexual. You just beat that dude with a nightstick. Hello? You, you wanna... Beat me with that- with your stick? Hello. Yes, yes, I can use it. He's gonna know where I am, but I mean, it doesn't mean I can't try. No, I'm gonna run down the hall. If he comes after me, I'll run down the hall. He's gonna come after me. Even though for some reason right now he doesn't care. Hello? I like you to stay quiet. Can I come in here? Are you okay with that? Maybe with, with, with your stick? I would normally close the door by now, but he said quiet, so I feel like if I slammed the door, he'd yell at me. And beat me with his stick. That phone! Sorry about that. Would you, <coughs> would you like to comment? Apparently not! What the hell? Okay, okay. He, he doesn't like his personal space being invaded. Um, right, so I think I'll be fine as long as I don't go in there. Is that piss him off? Nope, nope, we're good, so. Damn it, wall. Damn it! What the hell was that? Oh, I didn't close the fucking door. Run past him! Stop chasing me. Especially because I keep forgetting to close doors. Did I just close it with me on the outside? God damn it. Ah! Get in the locker! Fun. We got cameras. Oh, button. Activate airlock. Don't know if there's any relevance to it, but we're gonna do it. 
Oh, what's this? Follow the blood! Okay, so we have to get through there somehow. Hello! Okay. There's the bullies! Need to see if there's a getaway. Cause they're gonna kick my ass in a second. Guaranteed. Oh shit. Hello? Okay, okay. We're going through the hole, but hello there. Your teeth are lovely. Let's go. Battery. That's obviously a good thing. More files! Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wall Rider security. Please refer to Markov Corp. Maintenance manual, blah blah blah, or seek guidance from a supervisor with a proper security clearance. Okay. So we're doing something with a purge gate? the heck is that monitor doing? I assume it's a weird wallpaper. Uh, screensaver? Screensaver. You know, back in the day, I was like in a school related, uh, oop, that's horrifying. I was like in a school related jump rope contest and I got a Hello Kitty floppy disk screensaver. So, uh, there you go. We're gonna have to go through it. I don't wanna. Sprint! I was expecting it was gonna lock me in there and I was gonna die. They're, they're killing them. They're killing them. The guards are going nuts. Or they're probably just tired of this shit. Either one. What about this door? Body keycard. I bet the uh, airlock malfunctions when we get through it again. Uh, hey, it didn't. No showers. It was over here. Uh, no. Wait. Where did I need a keycard? It was this. Okay. That doesn't look like a keycard thing, but I guess. I expect like a swiping motion, not just holding it. Anyway, uh. Look away. Gotta find the getaway. Exit through the showers. Great, I'm going through and I'm gonna check out a bunch of naked people. Let's look for a battery before we leave. Uh, no batteries. As far as I know, no batteries. Hopefully there's like more batteries and I just haven't found them yet. Actually, that's good. That, that would be depressing, actually. So. Shit! Ah! Was that supposed to happen? I saw an open window, so you're probably supposed to get through there, but how do you do that? When there's a narrow passageway and he beats you. Shit! 
shit. Ooh. My God, he vanished. vanished Your God or me? Why? Why you gotta go there? I bet I'm supposed to go up here. But just to see. Um. <coughs> nope, nope, they want us to go in here. By the way, uh, just a little word in there. I'd prefer to not have my belly slit open. His eyes, though. Can I sit there? Maybe I want to poop. Alright, alright. Another uh, high fiving incident gone wrong. Got a file. Please find attached a copy of the death certificate for Rudolph G. Wernick. No surviving family. Date of birth, 1980. Oh, this is a while ago, 1918. Birthplace, Germany. Okay, of course. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from June 4, 2003 to February 28, 2009. That I saw him alive on February 27, 2009. That death occurred on the date stated above at 4, 11 a.m. The principal cause of death and related causes of importance were as follows. Heart failure due to advanced age. This is to certify that this is a true and correct copy of the official record. Okay, we're learning about Wernick. Ooh, they had a janitor at one point. Need another key card? for this vent. Why that way? Why did I go that way? Oh, that's why. Damn it. So that's supposed to happen? I think it was. Oh my god. I just landed in a body pile. I'm gonna pass the showers. Uh. 
I don't know if they see the light too or not. Hello. I saw your booty. Okay. Oh no, this is gonna be one of those close ones where you like pieces. And you have to be really fast. Okay, here we go. We're gonna probably keep switching beds. Oh, I wanna look up for gum. Hey, no gum. Dang. Okay, I see him right now. I don't know if you were able to see him, but I saw him. Reload before we get up. I believe we have to go up the stairs. No, I don't think he comes out this far generally unless he sees you. Gonna make a run for it. I'm betting both of them are pacing in here. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to go the other way. Cause I know this is gonna be narrow. Didn't do it. Am I safe now? I am not a pig. I'll take that back. If I was a pig, I couldn't fit through that. So, heh. Well then! I bet I'm still so composed to go in there, though. It's probably just one of those harmless psychos. Yep, yep. Harmless psycho with a fucked up hand. Shit. You want to help me though? Or do you want to kill me like almost everyone else in here? No, he's gonna try to bite me. He seems normal, but oh well. Stop thinking my flesh is silky. Well, you know what? We have nothing left to lose. It's time to let him tell me how silky I am. What? Oh, yeah. Security. I can't shake Chris Walker, the big ugly fucker who likes ripping off people's heads. I hear him muttering about security protocols, containment. What if he's not the problem? What if he's trying to fix it? Huh. I don't know. What am I supposed to do with you? Oh, I have 
Okay, so since he's not violent, I'm gonna keep looking around, and I think we have to climb up somewhere. Like this one? Up, oh, there we go. Nurse! Nurse! I'm gonna need some help getting clean. I was looking at it, but I wasn't sure if that was actually it or not. Okay, I think he's one of those guys that'll beat you if you get too close. Get any more batteries? And uh, by the way, why would the hell is there a battery in a cell downstairs? It's not normal. Why am I wasting my night vision? Oh, there we go. Hello there. On the priestly stuff. Oh, he's hiding. Blood. Dr. Rudolf G. Wernick, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28th, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for a paper written with early computing. Pioneer Alan Turing. After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he emigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernick retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernick a true humanitarian, with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. What? Okay. Yeah, there, there's a bucket of blood. Witness. He saw it. He did not kill his enemies. So something was wrong and he's trying to set the story straight. We're gonna have to go up. Battery. Not me! You can thank your priest for me being here. If you do want to accept that I'm here. No, you don't! No. Mr. Soki, do you want to help me? Okay, okay. No need yet. No need. Just to find the hole. Where'd he 
We're just checking for batteries before moving on. Okay, that's it. Go back to the hole in the floor, following the blood. So I don't know what's about to happen and I feel like this is a good place to stop. So we're going to end this episode. Thanks for watching. See ya.